Our world has been built on knowledge and experience, gathered by mankind over generations. We draw our conclusions from all spheres of life and continue to develop, devoted to tradition, dedicated to progress. People experience the effectiveness of homeopathic remedies every day, all over the world. In 1866, Dr. Wilmar Schwabe founded the company in Leipzig. He developed pharmaceutical standards for medicinal plant extracts, some of which are still valid today. With each following generation, Schwabe Pharmaceuticals continued to grow. I have founded an institution of my own, which examines every homeopathic remedy for genuineness and purity, and which sets standards for its quantity, the content, effectiveness, and the characteristics of the substances. More than 450 employees work at the facilities at Karlsruhe in Germany and strive to fulfill the company goals. Maximum quality and a wide market tailored product range from homeopathic single remedies to combination remedies. Forces of nature are a gift, a gift we are treating with care and devotion in order to preserve the sustainability of nature. In the south of Germany, close to the city of Karlsruhe, we find a little paradise. Here, more than 500 different species of medical plants from all over the world grow on more than 12 acres of land under special certified organic agricultural conditions. A self-regulating biological system has established itself. Spectacle birds, wanton quails and other beneficial animals are essential for maintaining the natural balance. The employees of Shuabe tend to their plants with dedication and care as these plants will provide the healing powers in homeopathic medicines for us, the patients. Homeopathic medicines are often regarded as herbal-only medicines. Plants do indeed contribute a huge part of the starting materials used, but mineral and animal substances are used for the manufacture as well. Shobe is committed to Hanuman's tradition. In 1872, the pharmacist Dr. Wilmer Schwabe created the standard reference book which developed into the official German homeopathic pharmacopoeia. It has to be considered that the innermost core of a disease is never really perceivable. A disease is a disorder of the entire person and not only of their individual organs. This is the reason why we have to consider the patient in his entirety and his individual situation, his physical and mental conditions. Consequently, we practice a holistic treatment in the true sense of the word. This is the guiding principle still followed by Shobe all over the world. Shobe is convinced that only stringently monitored manufacturing processes can result in high-quality homeopathic medicines. Advanced analysis equipment is just as indispensable in this context as is this experience gathered over the centuries and the strong commitment of all employees. Usually the first homeopathic pharmaceutical form is an alcoholic extract from fresh or dried plants called mother tincture. The scrupulously examined starting material is further chopped into pieces. Mixed with alcohol and water, the mixture rests for at least 10 days. 
The extract gained in this process unites the whole potential of the medicinal plant. All quality criteria given, the extract will be pressed and filtered after the defined period of time. Shobe manufactures up to 900 different mother tinctures in batch sizes of 10,000 liters. After further quality testing, various other homeopathic medicines will be manufactured. From these mother tinctures by adding alcohol, lactose or sucrose. For potentization, a central principle of manufacturing, an alcohol water mixture is added to liquid pharmaceuticals and subsequently suppressed 10 times by hand. Potentization accomplishes an increase in the homeopathic effect, a process called dynamization. Liquid pharmaceutical forms called dilutions are used in the manufacture of the pharmaceutical forms. Highly developed manufacturing methods and the experience of each employee guarantee the quality of each package. Manufactured in this way, homeopathic medicines preserve the element of forces of nature, applied individually for the benefit of the patient. They contribute to a more gentle approach to therapy in the tradition of homeopathy. Physical and mental balance is the most stable condition in human being. A disturbed balance impairs well-being. The person falls ill. The Otterberg physician Dr. Wilhelm Heinrich Schwissler discovered that disease results when the self-metabolism is out of balance. This finding laid the foundations for the new abbreviated therapy in the second half of the 19th century. Dr. Schwesler called this therapy abbreviated because he succeeded in managing numerous diseases with only 12 mineral salts. These minerals are by nature present in human body and are the main pillars of Dr. Schwesler's therapy. He called this new revolutionary method biochemistry, chemistry of life. Today we refer to the mineral salt therapy by Dr. Schwizler or simply to the 12 Dr. Schwizler salts. Due to their vital functions in the body cells, Dr. Schwizler called the 12 salts functional salts and allocated them numbers 1 to 12. Each of the 12 salts can have a balancing effect on malfunctions of the body and stimulate or regulate certain functional processes in the body. So, for example, ferrum phosphoricum, salt number 3, is often referred to as the mineral salt of the immune system. The Dr. Schwizler salt number 5, calium phosphoricum, is known as a mineral salt of nerves and mind. And what is meant by the hot 7? Many people know the popular method of taking Dr. Schwesler salt number 7. Magnesium phosphoricum, the mineral salt of the muscles and nerves. 10 tablets are put into hot water, dissolved and drunk in small sips. Dr. Wilmer Schwabe realized the potential of Dr. Schwesler salts right from the very beginning. Indeed, he even offered Dr. Schwesler salts for sale in his central homeopathic dispensary in 1873. Quality prevails. We are proud of this tradition in the manufacture and dissemination of the Dr. Schwesler salts, which reaches back more than 100 years. The ointment manufacturing tradition can also be traced back to 1912. Lotions for the application on large areas are a further enrichment of the Dr. Schwizler product range on the original by Schwabe. E. 
even though Dr. Schwitzler expressly denied that this method was homeopathic, he used a central homeopathic principle, potentization. This mineral is finely and intensely ground in special triturational. The mineral's particle size is thereby reduced to less than 100 micrometers. For each potentization step of Dr. Schwizler's salt, one part of mineral salt and nine parts lactose are used. According to the pharmacopoeia, this process continues until the stipulated potency has been manufactured. Dr. Schwizler was convinced that acute optimum ingestion of the active substance was in this processing method and only in this. Stringent quality control is an integral part of the entire manufacturing process. When the stipulated potency has been manufactured, the trituration can be employed for the production of tablets, ointments and lotions. Meticulous in-process controls regarding for example weight and rating strength ensure consistent quality of Dr. Schwizler's salts. Dr. Schwizler's therapeutic method with only 12 potentized mineral salts has resources to restore health and well-being and thus convinces people today as it did more than 100 years ago. a market leader in Germany and many other countries. Schwabe assumes a special responsibility, a responsibility not only towards patients but also towards tradition, further development of homeopathic medicines and the Dr. Schwizler Sauls. This also implies a logistic feat. More than 80,000 packages leave Schwabe premises every day. We gladly take on the challenges that our changing times present for the benefit of mankind. Schwabe's worldwide success will continue. This is our commitment every day. Devoted to tradition dedicated to progress.